So we should have the C scale, and we should be able to do that in the first position using our, our uh, proper fingers. Third finger, third fret, second finger, second fret, first finger, first fret. That should sound something like this. And that's an ascending C major scale, one octave, and then descending C major scale, one octave. Now you can think about that in different ways, and I would think about it as numbers, definitely. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 1. 1, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, right? And so say the number while you're doing it. You can also do the interval, uh, tonic, whole step, whole step, half step, whole step, whole step, uh, whole step, half step to the tonic, and, that's, and then descending. And you can also do, um, the, uh, do the notes, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, and C, right? You can also do the finger position on the neck. So third fret, open, second fret, third fret, open, second fret, open, first fret, first fret, open, second fret, open, third fret, second fret, open, third fret, right? So different ways of thinking about the same thing, very useful for us. Now, seeing the first position is just one octave, but we can also go down below that octave and up to the next one. So starting at that root C right there, the next note down, down is, is seven. That's going to be a B. Next note down is a six, that's an A, right? And then a G, a third finger on the third fret, and an F, uh, and then the open E, which is the lowest note you could play on the guitar in standard tuning. So uh, here we go. E, F, G, A, B, C. C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. So it was almost two octaves. It was the third of the lower octave, uh, and then all the way through the next octave and now we're at C on the first fret so now C D E F G and that's all the notes that you might want to play in the first position in the C scale pretty handy for us to know that so we've got E F G A B C D E F G A B C D E F G G F E D C B A G F E D C B A G F E right and I would say them uh, I would play them, I would use that as the as a sort of a, uh, a break, you know, so if I was going to, I would want to play them as fast as I could say them, no faster than I could say them, uh, so that'll slow you down a little bit and hopefully get this stuff into muscle memory uh, sooner. Then the next thing we want to do is start thinking about maybe uh, about uh, modes a little bit, which are, at this point you're, per you're familiar with, I'm sure, so the first mode. Uh, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. If we go to the seventh mode, I don't punch like Muhammad Ali, that's uh, uh, Locrian. Now we're starting on the B. And then, uh, so that's cool. And then down to the A, starting in the sixth mode. And then to the G, the fifth mode. And then the F, the fourth mode. And the E, the third mode. All it is is starting with another number and then playing through exactly as you would before. So the so the for instance uh, the um, A minor is the relative minor. It's a relative minor for uh, for the C. I, we'll get on to that. But what it means is that if you start at the A, you have this very cool um, Spanish sounding thing happening. That's just a C scale, but it's from the six, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, six, five, four, three, two, one, seven, six. And if you're starting at the A, then you can continue from the A down, right? Now all that sounds pretty, right? But all it is is C scale notes and understanding that if you want, if you're, if you're comfortable playing them in the first position and you know them pretty well, all you got to do is start playing that C from the six, which is the A, and and then you can have this sort of uh, um, beautiful um, Spanish arrangement happening for yourself, right? So have some fun with this anyway.